a study done by the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network found that nine out of 10 gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual teenagers are bullied, and they are four times more likely to commit suicide than their heterosexual counterparts. Bullying often starts at home. We are downloaded in belief systems that being gay is immoral, it's out of God, it's distant from God. We are taught that it is basically wrong and it really does come from fear. Fear becomes so strong, it could actually influence many of our teenagers to commit suicide. We're not all raised with the same beliefs. In my home, I was raised with the belief that we are all created in God's image, that's every single one of us, and that homosexuality is divine will and perfect. Since the root of bullying comes from our beliefs, and beliefs are something that we can change, we need to start releasing and letting go of those limited fear-based beliefs and start embracing some new truths. And that's how we can move forward as a planet and stop hurting each other. And honoring the diversity. The diversity is everywhere, and the diversity is what makes us grow. If we need tangible evidence, it's everywhere in nature. Diversity. We are spiritual, sexual beings, and where our personal power lies is within that comfortableness and being able to be empowered by who we are and have no shame. And that is why religion at one time set it up to take our power from us by diminishing our light, by having us feel unworthy and shameful and take sex out of the experience of just creating an intimate relationship between two beings, being able to experience each other intimately. So that's how powerful we are as sexual beings. And the only way for us to heal is to start embracing that truth, that we, are, we come from love, and part of that love is expressed through sexual energy, and we are spiritual beings first. And then the human being part is the part we really need to start working on the belief systems about homosexuality often leads to being bullied and hits to the core of self-esteem and self-worth. My own personal experience from watching someone's self-worth deteriorate was my brother who died of HIV. My brother who died of HIV was bullied from, I want to say, from birth. And the biggest bully was my father and it was his own fear and his own insecurity of his own sexuality. But it began at home, and as my brother aged and became more forward in his life and became more truthful in his being, um, it also opened up for even more bullying, public bullying. I remember a time when he was stabbed in the back just for being gay, just from walking by a couple of straight guys. Um, bully destroys self-esteem. It just, it'll, if you have it, it wipes it right out. We have no idea, no idea the depth of what we do when we take someone's spirit down by bullying. What this is all about is an evolution in consciousness. When Agnes's brother was being raised, it was all about avoidance. My understanding of avoidance is it leads to isolation. And Isolation is how we torture prisoners. Isolation, that's what we're doing. We're doing that to the people we love, the people that are of us, our family members. Isolation is what we're doing. And I don't know if there's a greater pain than isolation. So we've evolved to now some level of tolerance is what we talk about. And all tolerance is is just still judging others and saying, We'll put up with them. So really where we need to go with this, where we really need to move to, is a higher level of consciousness. And that level of consciousness has to do with allowing. Allowing the diversity, allowing the oneness to be, allowing people to be who they are, and free to be that. That's what this country was built on, was freedom. And so that's why it's real important that we, we show that with our beliefs.